What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna check out Minecraft for someone who's getting this laptop real soon and just want to see how Minecraft works. <coughs> Ma'am, I try not to cough but whatever at least it wasn't a loud one. Anyway, so they're getting a laptop soon and they just wanted to know how Minecraft ran with shaders. So I went and had to learn how to install shaders. Wasn't too hard but that did waste some time. I started learning at like 11 so it took me <coughs> about an hour or so to get this set up but I'm not very good with mods and stuff. The only time I'm good with mods is if there's like if you use Nexus Mod Manager or something like that. That's how <coughs> that's how I got my <coughs> Fallout 4 and Skyrim mods to work properly. Other than that every time they say it's easy and they're just like hey all you gotta do is download and drag and drop the folder. I do all that and then it never works and then I feel like oh man it's you you're the only one that this happens to but I know that's not really true. Anyway we're all ready to go. I'm gonna go take this computer over and set it on my secondary computer. I got a shorter cable to also see if that was why uh, Elgato was being like hey searching for signal sometimes. Some people said if you have too long of a cable it won't be able to give the right signal. So anyway let's go get some Minecraft for this guy. All right guys let's have a quick look at the settings here. Now I don't know too much about this so I let I tried to set it up with decent settings. And a couple things got messed up I guess when I alt F forward last time. But this game has been a real pill to get working like just recording. It's not like it doesn't work or play well but it was just really hard to get recording properly. Because with this one, it doesn't want to use the actual dedicated GPU. It wants to use integrated. But luckily, even on integrated, it still does good. And that's only on my version because I'm using the Game Pass version. Because it wouldn't let me go into the graphics settings and force it to use the 6800. So it is what it is. And that's only on the Game Pass version. I can't stress that enough. Anybody who bought the game just from Minecraft or basically anywhere else won't have this problem. They'll just be able to go in and be like, hey, use my 6800, and then it'll get even more FPS than I get here. But I just wanted to let you guys know that's why it says GPU-1 is barely being used once we get into the game. And why I'm also going to do it on 1440p, just to show you guys what it's like uh, when you actually are using the 6800. But, all right. I think that I've said what I want to say, and we're pretty much done here, so why don't we go hop into the game? Alright, guys. Let's just run around the world here for a little while. And see, look at that. Even though we're not even using the 6800, we're still getting almost the max refresh rate of the monitor. So it's doing pretty good considering this is an APU and this APU is anything but powerful. I literally never use it for anything unless I'm forced to like this. And this is a very, very particular problem I'm having. Not like pretty much anyone else is going to have this problem. Because they're not going to be trying to record. <laughs> they're just going to play the damn game and probably not care. And no one will have this problem as long as they're not playing the freaking game pass version so i guess what i would do is if you have never played minecraft like me maybe try the game pass version real quick just see if you like what it's all about and then go buy it and then you can actually like mess with the damn graphics and all that stuff graphics settings and windows and then you can actually force it to use the right gpu unlike me it just wouldn't it said i don't have permission and no matter what i could not give myself permission no matter how many settings no matter how many tutorials that's what took so long. I meant to have this video done and uploaded already yesterday, but I ran into a bunch of problems. I've been working on it. Didn't get to sleep till like 4 a.m. But here I am now. We're getting there. I'm making it work. I'm punching the shit out of this tree, man. I got wood. Hell yeah, I got wood. All right, what can we do with this wood? I'm gonna keep hitting shit with this wood. That sounds good. Let's do that. All right. I think I've abused the tree enough. Let's move on. All right, so that's how I get into my inventory. Okay. Hey, cows. 
What's up, cows? We got random tiki torches or something here? Or was that corn? No, that's fire. That's definitely fire. Hey, cow. Uh, what up, cow? There's just like a bunch of water just pouring out of here. Must be a natural spring of some kind. All right, I guess let's just keep moving around, looking around, seeing what kind of other terrains we can uncover just by walking about. And hopefully I can get done walking around before it turns dark. But if not, we'll get a teeny bit of nighttime gameplay too, why not? It'll just be hard to see because I don't know how to make a torch or anything. I probably should have at least looked up the basics. I mean, at heart, it's a building game, so I mean, I could treat it very similar to a survival game. Into the water I go. Hey, look, an octopus. Or two. There's three. Well, I don't know if they're friendly or not, so I should probably get out of the water, huh? Otherwise, I'll get eaten. And I don't want to get eaten. Man, this world does go on for a really long time, or a really long way, doesn't it? I wonder how far it actually goes in each direction. I wonder if it's just infinite. Just, like, keeps, to make you know, clearing the ram from where you're behind eventually and just keeps on rendering shit in as you get close enough kind of shit. But I know nothing of this game. There's a giant hole in the ground. I probably shouldn't go in there. Hey, I see bamboo, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go punch the shit out of this bamboo. Oh yeah, now I have bamboo, apparently. And I have new recipes unlocked. All right, now it looks like I'm coming up to like kind of like a jungle. There's ducks. It's so nice to be able to just, like, take a drink so long as I, like, set the glass down and not have the microphone even pick it up. My old microphone wasn't horrid, but it sure did pick up everything, but it was a freaking headset mic. And a damn good one for being wireless and all. <laughs> More octopus. I don't know why, but I halfway expected that motherfucker to cop out of the water and just start, like coming at me. I don't know why. Luckily it didn't, because I don't know how I'd react to that or what I'd do about it. I mean, can you punch an octopus? Because, like, in real life, they're so, like, smushy, you'd think it wouldn't even do anything to them. Wow, it didn't like that, whatever was going on right there. Keep in mind, though, this is just the APU. It'll run a lot better use it for when you force it to use the actual correct GPU. Oh, speaking of night, it looks like it's about to be night now. Well, 
Well, I'm just going to stay in the water for a little bit because I know at least in the water I'm mildly safe. Once I jump out and start trying to run around, I'll probably get mauled to death by monsters, but eventually I'll have to get out. Eh, fuck it. I'll just get out now and just kind of chill next to the water and then I'll try to jump back in. Here we go. Sure is a lot of bamboo here. It's hard to tell what I can and can't go through. <laughs> oh, nope. Can't quite fit through there. I'm too fat. Oh, there's another one of those octopi. All right, so far so good. Uh-oh. Back in the water I go for now. All right, that's the end of the water. Here's probably where I die. Ow. Bastard. What the fuck was that? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Minecraft. And I'm sure you guys noticed the GPU was basically sitting there doing nothing. And that's because when you're playing this game, at least the Windows Store version, it uses the damn APU. And normally that wouldn't be a problem. You just go into the graphics settings, you know, tell it, add it to the list of applications, and then you could tell it, hey, use the 6800 instead, please. But nope, since it's in a Microsoft game, off the Game Pass, apparently now you can't add shit to the uh, GPU thing. So you can never tell Windows to add the 6800 to the list, at least for Minecraft. So therefore you can never use the dedicated GPU, unless you're playing the one so this will not affect anyone besides people trying to play it off game class like me and most people that are into minecraft are probably have the actual version from the actual minecraft website so this will not be an issue for you if you're playing just the normal game you can just do what you normally do force windows to just use the 6800 and then everything will be fine this is just a problem for me and since i'm using game pass and i'm not that interested in game pass or uh, uh, minecraft and i don't want to go and spend 40 bucks on it just to show someone how it runs i'll be easily can afford it i just don't feel like it you know that's just a little bit silly to go spend 40 bucks on a game you're never going to play just to show a couple people online how it runs just doesn't make any sense now if i was already monetized and making a bunch of money or getting donations from you guys i just use all those donations to buy any video game you guys want Wanted. But until that happens, I have to be a little frugal with what I what I buy. Otherwise, I'll be broke. I have a decent amount of money, but if I sit there and buy a video game literally every day, man, a couple of years of that and I would be broke. But anyway, that's about it for this video now. So we can force the 6800. I'm going to go jump over to 1440p now. That way we can kind of see what it can do, you know, with the uh, 6800M because that forces it. There's no way it can use the APU if it's literally connected through USB-C. So sorry about the long intro and that and outro of this video but had some explaining to do but I hope you guys still enjoyed it I hope the guy got to see how it would run even on the APU if it ran this good on the APU man you'll have no problem on the on the uh, actual GPU itself so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one peace out guys